The final type problems that you'll see in section 1.5 and properties of exponents deals with scientific notation. Now, we have all seen and know how to write numbers in scientific notation. You've done this for a few years. So I'm going to look at a problem that involves the simplification without a calculator of numbers in scientific notation. I have an example here in blue. 2.1 times 10 to the third times 3 times 10 to the fifth. Basically what you have is you have four things that are being multiplied together. 2.1, oops, excuse me, I have to erase that. 2.1, 10 to the third, the three, and 10 to the fifth. Very simply, just like properties of exponents and some of the examples that you have seen in the past, basically you have a number here times a number here. These two can be multiplied together. 2.1 times 3 is 6.2. In black, I'm circling the bases and their exponents. And we all know that when these two are times together, we add the powers. So therefore, 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth is going to be 10 to the eighth. And I just append that part onto the end so that I write the number properly in scientific notation. And I have just used properties of exponents to multiply two very large numbers in scientific notation, and I did it without a calculator using what I know about properties of exponents. Next problem, let's talk about division. Division works the same way. Let's say I have 9.1 times 10 to the fifth, and I'm going to divide it by 1.3 times 10 to the third. Okay, well, these two numbers are the coefficients, 9.1 and 1.3. If I divide those two numbers, I get 7. And then the times 10 part, and then obviously since we're dividing, we all know from the last example video, you minus those powers, so 5 minus 3 is 2, and there you go. There is our number in scientific notation. Okay, I would like you guys to do this last problem. So please pause the video. I would like you to take 3.5 times 10 to the eighth power, that's an 8, times 5 times 10 to the fifth power. Please pause the video at this time, and when you're ready, begin again and see how well you did. All right. I know that these two numbers right here are the coefficients. I'm going to times those two together, and I actually get 17.5 if I multiply those two together. What I'm circling, 10 to the 8th and 10 to the 5th, those are your powers. Those are your bases and your power. So I'm going to write times 10, and if I add the powers, I get times 10 to the 13th. The only problem with this, if you guys remember scientific notation, this number right here has to be between 1 and 10, and right now it is not. So I need to take the decimal and move it back one spot to get 1.75, which now is a number between 1 and 10. But if I move the decimal back this way, I have to add 1 to the power. So therefore, I would have times 10 to the 14th. And that would be the final solution for this particular example. And that's how you take scientific notation and properties of exponents and use them to combine numbers.